Hello, everyone, and welcome to my first, I guess, uh, actual Reactor 5 tutorial, 5.5 uh, specifically, from Native Instruments. And what you see here, if you watched my last video, what is a synthesizer called Synth 1. And if you want to know more about how the program works and stuff, I recommend you watch that first video. But uh, anyway, um, in this video, we're actually going to get into making our, our very own synthesizer from the bottom up. And so to begin, we are going to, um, you can't see this on this window, but up in the right hand corner on both a Windows and a Mac, uh, click File new ensemble and this window pops up and so you basically start with something that looks kind of blank and that's good and now just double click anywhere on this this uh, screen here just double click like that and you'll notice you, you see this instrument here right um, just for any reason in case this doesn't show up um, for whatever reason um, I'm going to show you how to make your own instrument so this is basically the foundation of how you start building your synth here is this instrument so I'm going to delete it by hitting backspace not delete on the keyboard and for a Mac I think it's or for a Windows I think it's delete but on the Mac it's backspace or I don't know try try both and see a backspace um, and then right click on the screen and scroll down to instrument and you want to put in a new two in two out just like that and then connect these modules together by click and dragging clicking and dragging over to the left channel from in one and over to the right channel from in two and then out from left and right on the instrument to out one and out two and this goes to whatever your computer speakers are set up to be in reactor so pretty easy to set up there anyway now double click and you'll be inside the instrument and you'll notice this setup here um, this is our starting point for the actual internals of our instrument. So what we're going to do first is we're going to make an oscillator. And what an oscillator is, is basically it creates a waveform. And the most common waveform used in creating synthesizers is the sawtooth. Um, but you probably recognize some of these other ones like sine and triangle and uh, pulse wave, which is like a square wave. So we'll click Sawtooth for now. We'll, we'll uh, select Sawtooth um, Oscillator. And if you look at it, you see it has two inputs and one output. And if you click over here to this check mark, um, whatever you select, uh, left, you'll see left show up here. Click Sawtooth, you'll see Sawtooth show up here. And then if you click Info, you can view the properties of whatever the module you want to select is. So with the Sawtooth in particular, it says Oscillator for Sawtooth Signal with Logarithmic Pitch Control P, which is this, and Linear Amplitude Modulation A, which is this. And so um, what those are, well, you can think of pitch as a note you hit on the keyboard. And so we're actually going to add that module right now. So right click, go to built in module, MIDI in, note pitch. And it'll select this note pitch module. So click and drag this little wire thing over and release when you get over pitch. And then you connect these two things. Now, you're got, now that's the pitch, and that's how you control the pitch. But I'm going to show you something. Right now, um, 
make sure the volume on your computer is low, either by lowering the output up here or turning down the volume on your computer speakers because this might get loud. Um, drag this over to what's called the voice combinator. We won't get into what that is right now. Um, but drag it to both your outputs. And the, the left and right are connected to the left and right outs, basically, of your computer. That's how we'll visualize it for now, anyways. So now, play a note. Just uh, press a key on your MIDI keyboard if it's set up, or your QWERTY keyboard. I'm getting MIDI in here, but no out. Ah, I guess I can't do this little experiment. Um, okay, so what we'll need is a gate. And what the gate does, so now we have the pitch selected to go out. Um, or it sends a command to the oscillator telling the oscillator what pitch to play. And then the oscillator plays it through the speakers. So now, um, while we tell the oscillator what note to play, we, don't, we haven't yet told it whether or not it should be on or off. And when the oscillator is on, sound will come out. So what we need to do is right click, built in module, MIDI in. We need to put a gate in there. And a gate is basically an on off signal. If you look at info, it says source for MIDI note on and note off events. Switching the status of a gate output signal. So we're going to drag that over to the A or the amplitude input. Now, when we play a note, again, make sure the volume on your computer is somewhat low. So, yeah, now you've made basically a sawtooth. You made your, I mean, a really, really super basic synthesizer at this point. And... It's pretty cruddy sounding, as you can probably tell, but uh, it's, it's a start. And so now we have to improve upon our synthesizer. Um, right now, we're going to add a, um, an ADSR envelope. So to make an uh, ADSR envelope, uh, we will continue um, with the right-click nature of Reactor, we're going to right-click, uh, select a built-in module. We'll go down to where it says LFO envelope, and we'll click on the letter that says ADSR, which means Attack, Decay, Sustain, Release, as you can see up here. Attack, Decay, Sustain, Release. So um, when you're trying out modules, get in the habit of looking looking up here again and uh, so that you can maybe get an idea of what, what your modules do. If you just have no clue, that's a good way to find out. And so, what we're going to be affecting with, the, with this envelope is the volume, or the amplitude. So, in order to do that, so we know that the gate controls the amplitude of this oscillator. Right? It tells the note when to turn on and off, which basically means um, it changes the value of the amplitude because the volume is the amplitude. So anyway, um, now instead of, in order to make this thing work, instead of the gate going directly to the sawtooth wave, uh, the sawtooth oscillator, we're going to make it go through the envelope first. So we're gonna delete this wire, just click and hit delete or backspace and drag this down to where the G is, the G input on the envelope. And so it'll connect, it'll connect there. And now, uh, now this output, we're gonna put to the amplitude. So now the, uh, the envelope, which is basically, I guess, a filter, is going, it's going, the gate signal, the amplitude signal is going through the gate first is modified by the envelope and is going to the sawtooth wave. And so now what we need to do is we need to be able to, to control 
the attack decay sustain release properties of our synthesizer.